This is Chairman Mike McCoo calling to order the June 21st meeting of the Wellington School Building Committee at 6.34 p.m. Um, chairperson report. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it very simple for tonight. Um, based on the guidance from the Board of Education, which we'll be discussing tonight, I feel like we probably have a uh, direction that we're going to be agreeable on. And um, so my expectation really is that we'll put the focus in during the meeting and move in that direction. And hopefully we can uh, have a good collaborative meeting to accomplish the, this business and set our new course. And that is it. Um, next communications letter from the Board of Education. All members have it. And I'm just going to read it out loud for, it's fairly short, I'll read it out loud for the value of anyone else who's listening or if people haven't had a chance to read it yet from the committee. June 20th, 23 to the School Building Committee. At the June 13th, 2023 Board of Education meeting, members discussed the joint meeting between the School Building Committee, the Board of Education, and the Board of Selectmen. After significant reflection and discussion, the Board of Education voted to move forward with a request for qualifications slash proposals for an updated facility study for the two schools. The study would include a list of repairs necessary to each school with current cost estimates, a priority list for the projects identified, and recommendations for projects to be logically bundled together. The Board of Education believes this work is outside the charge of the School Building Committee, as a result, the Board of Education recommends that the School Building Committee complete a written report of their findings and submit it to the Board of Education and Board of Selectmen. The Board of Education would like to sincerely thank all the School Building Committee members for their effort over the past two years. As volunteers, they spent extensive time committed to identifying one preschool through grade eight school building. We believe the town may need to have a similar committee in the future and their expertise will be welcomed in the future. Sincerely, Phil Stevens on behalf of the Board of Education. So that's it for communications. Um, so we're on to new business, guidance letter from the Board of Education, which I just read, which hopefully sets the stage for this conversation. Um, I think this gives us some clarity that we were looking for and um, also takes on some of the things that some of our members were wrestling with if we should or could or should not be doing, which for the, most part is making an assessment of the schools in a deeper sense than what we had an updated assessment. So I, in my feeling as chairman and based on what we've done so far is I think that it makes perfect sense for us to follow this recommendation and um, prepare a final report, which I would suggest that gets uh, started on the time between now and our next meeting, um, probably by input from members being emailed in. Again, not a group discussion in email, but a direct email in with ideas. And um, I would work to start framing it out with those suggestions. And we would hopefully have a draft for people to review before our next meeting. And we could either continue working it at that next meeting or finalize it and agree to it and approve it. Uh, we would also settle up the last of our, miss we have some missing meeting minutes and um, we would settle those and um, close out our finances at that time as well. So that, that would allow us to produce a report of findings because we would be able to put a final uh, in, in what was spent and what it was spent on and what remains uh, that essentially stays in the town's um, coffers. So those are my thoughts. And uh, I'm opening it up to uh, committee members for discussion. Mike, and, I have uh, two thoughts. Um, number one, maybe we should do, Phil and I as a communications committee should do an article for the Willington Wire when it's all over. You know, when we have the report to work from, where we could share that report with the residents. Um, 
Now, my other thought is um, it's going to be, there will be a cost attached to the, um, the person we're, or persons that we're looking to hire to do the estimations for our facility studies. Um, is it possible to use some of that school building committee money or give that money back and request new money or? I would, I would think based on the approvals, since the, that work is going to be done by the Board of Ed, the, what the townspeople approved for that money was not directed to the Board of Ed. Okay. Although it is the same concept, maybe the same end goal, mm -hmm. it's not what the taxpayers approved. Okay. So I would think that as the school building committee concludes its business, mm -hmm. that's the end of that. The money goes back into the, or stays in the town budget really. Okay. And then the, the board of ed would have to seek okay. approval. That's my, that's my opinion on college. I think the mill, the portion of the million would, would be it, but not SBC. Not the 100,000 SBC along the Right, that's what I was referring to. That was, that was voted on and allocated to the SBC for right. their work. Right. And okay, that were that fifty-nine thousand whatever is whatever. Right. Yeah, like, fifty yeah. thousand ish okay. left. Yeah, that should be returned back to the town, like you said, Mike. And if the townspeople decide that it should go to the board of ed for whatever study it would choose to move forward with, we're fine. Yeah. Okay. Because I know we don't have it budgeted. Um, in the right. of our budget, but, but we okay. certainly can't direct it in that direction. Okay. And the only way I think that would potentially work was if it was one of our tasks to do that. But that is not really not where we're going. Okay. The million dollars that has been set aside by CIP is that um, might be a full question. Is that something you could use? A, you could ask. Yeah, you could yeah, ask. You could okay. ask. But, I think when Christina discussed that, the intent was that that would be focused more on paying for the costs of right. doing improvements at this school, mm -hmm. not necessarily the costs of doing the study. All right. Well, topic for other groups. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's not. It's right. not for us to say. Okay. Right. Thank you. Other um, SBC members, comments, thoughts on this. So not all at once. Can I make a suggestion, please? Um, just for time frame, and we know how feedback comes in. If we were aiming for um, an approval on July 19th for a final report, that would be the second. Did I get that right? Yes. Second Wednesday of July. Third. Third. Oh, sorry. Third. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Third, <laughs> second meeting. Third. Yes. Third Wednesday of July, it would avoid the Fourth of July kind of vacations yep. for folks. If we did a draft of a, a report um, by July fifth with people's feedback to whoever's writing, um, and then we could share that draft out with feedback from committee members just in writing. It doesn't have to be by group. By the twelfth, it would then give a week for writers to quote unquote finalize and show have a final report or approval on the 19th. That would give us time for minutes. It would give us time to settle up any final bills. Um, Cause I think by the fifth is gonna be too fast. Right, yes. Um, if we set the goal that people provided their initial input by July 1st, we could get, uh, we could start to frame a draft up by July 5th. Yeah. And I can pull, uh, or we can pull, whoever can pull the report from the last school building committee just to see what How type of thing, framed. yeah, what they put in there. It doesn't mean we have to follow it, but just as a reference. Sure. My two cents. Jim, go ahead. Yeah, I, I mean, I just realistically just wondering whether the schedules, you know, how realistic that schedule is, particularly over the summer months around holidays. Um, only because, I mean, you're trying to summarize, although it's, you know, the referendum was a summary in and of itself, um, you know, there is two years worth of effort to kind of summarize and compile. Um, and what's the process for, you know, that initial draft, who's, who's 
picking it together. How long is that going to take before we can even get comments by the fifth? You know, like it's you just want random. You know, are we just looking to generate random thoughts and ideas about what should be in the thing, or are we actually going to provide feedback on a draft? Because it just, I, I, I don't see this. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm leery of it actually being accomplishable before the fifth and or the nineteenth, realistically. Well, but we I can don't... strive for it. <laughs> I don't think it's realistic for everyone on the committee to try to put their minds and time into trying to write their own version of the draft. Agreed. It doesn't make sense to have nine people doing the same job. Um, so my feeling is if people put their thoughts into an email and say, I think we should cover these five topics, or I think we should cover these two topics, or I think whatever topics we cover, I feel really strongly about this particular statement. That if that feedback can be in by July one, you're not asking anyone to write a full draft. You're just writing them. You're asking them to get what they feel should be included, not in final form, but the idea or the or the talking point. And then between Phil and I, we could pull that together into a rough framework um, on the on or around the fifth. Fifth, sixth, we'll say because I'll be getting home <laughs> day on the fifth. Yeah, <laughs> like you realize what you're committing yourself to, right? You're writing this whole thing in yes. four days, so yeah. So probably the sixth is more realistic, and and it's not going to be a it's not going to be a final draft by any means. It's just going to be a framework right. that goes back out for a quick reaction. I'm sure some people will have a reaction that'll help us continue to work it. And we would not have a meeting on the fifth because that's right after the. I mean, what well, we can vote on that during this meeting, but I would say we don't have a meeting on the fifth. Um, Brianna. Hi, I am curious about what is in the report from the last group. Um, can we it have? Email that out. Okay, that would be good. The big difference between that. And what we have done now, if you ask me, is just technology. I mean, you can go back and watch any meeting. You can go back and read all the minutes. So maybe ours does not have to be super duper thorough because if people want us to know more about that, maybe like reference a date when it came up. I don't know if that would be helpful or too much. And I just like, is what's an outline? Like, what are we trying to say? Well, here's what I envisioned in, in my mind, and you guys can certainly uh, have not have had no problem in the past and should continue to not have a problem telling me if you disagree, um, is that we would take the summaries that we used earlier this year for like the board of finance meeting and that other stuff. That's already a framework. Mm -hmm. Those in those like uh, PowerPoint slides that we had used for those meetings, we basically lay out what had happened, the, the key points that had happened over the course of the committee. It's not the final draft, obviously, but it's already a framework built. So I think any of us could look back at those PowerPoints and pick out a couple of things and say, I wanna make sure this is included or that is included. Um, and uh, my feeling is I would, I would take the key points from those and, and build it around those. With obviously with input from everyone on the NPC. Yeah. We already kind of laid out the key steps and the milestones in those previous, um, you know, in those previous efforts. Yeah. So why isn't that format acceptable? Well, because it's in PowerPoint slides. I think the I think those things just need to get pulled into what I envision is something more like a letter. Okay. Well, a report form. Yeah. Yeah, like probably like you know, two or three pages of a of a letter and maybe an attachment or two. Like the final financial report might be an attachment if people wanted that to be. Just okay. sitting here. Oh, okay. Better up. All right. Uh, just sitting here, just thinking through my mind from start to finish. I mean, I came up with eight topics at least that should be in that. So let's see, that's a great thing for you to email to me and, and I will. Well, uh, I'll embellish it a little bit. You want that? I said I'll embellish it a little bit. Oh, you, you would add more? <laughs> Not me. I never do that. 
Any more comments from the committee? And then I'll get Pete just came in. I'll get him up to date with where we are. All right. So Pete, where we are um, is we got through um, to item four, new business, which was the guidance from the Board of Education. I'm assuming you've read the letter from the Board of Education. I was at their meeting, so I okay. understood the intent of it. Right. So uh, I read the letter to make sure everyone heard it. And uh, we've been talking about not having a meeting on July 5th because that's right after the holiday. And it's going to come up fast. Um, Thank you. But planning, <laughs> planning on having a meeting on the 19th, which would be the next regular um, meeting. And the, the, the tentative milestone we're talking about right now is by July 1, members of the committee will email to me a, any key points or comments that they feel are important for the final report. And um, Phil is going to email out the report from the previous school building committee to give people some food for thought and see how that was structured. And then we'll probably take the uh, some framework from those PowerPoints that were done for like board of finance and all that other stuff about what the milestones had been over the course of the school building committee. Start to combine all those things together into a rough framework on or about July 6th and send it out to people for some comments and just kind of chug our way towards a, a workable draft by the meeting on the 19th. And we would try to close that, catch up all our minutes by the 19th and our final financials on the 19th. Will the focus just be, I'm not sure what the focus will be, but um, are we just looking at what we actually did or will we look at the outcome of the referendum and come to some conclusion. Well, I think we, I think people should suggest what they want. If you know, we like that's probably something you should suggest that uh, that we report on what we did and what the result of the election was. And um, I think that I think the election is an important factor when people twenty years from now are reading this and looking back, or ten years from now, or whatever it is, when people are looking back and saying, "Well, what happened?" There are some of us who will have lived through it, but there will be many new faces at the table, right? And they'll right. want to know what happened. I, I can speak to that because I was on the 1990 committee. Right. What's different about this outcome from that outcome was we kind of transitioned into doing the ADA upgrades to both, to both schools, which was kind of a logical outgrowth at that time of, of, of where we were. But we're just kind of ending. So right. it's, a, it's a little bit different. Right. Yeah, I mean, my approach to this was just to kind of run through from start to finish. And the takeaways that the committee walked away from at various steps in that process, what we learned, what we understood, uh, the pulse of the community. Right. The only caution I would have with that is there are people Different people on the committee have different assessments about what messages were sent about certain things. And I don't think, I think we should be very careful about what opinions we put in there. I wasn't going um, there in particular. Because we, particularly because we also wrestled with how do we assess it? Do we do surveys? Do we ask, do, do we ask, you know, all those things we talked about were partly because we have varying ideas about what the vote meant, other than it clearly meant no. That was very clear. No one argued that. Um, but you know, we have some people who say, oh, the vote was no because their committee had lost trust within the public. I don't think that should be in the report because that's a certain group of people's opinion, but we don't know that that's a widespread or narrow spread. So that kind of thing I don't think should be in the report. No, I wasn't suggesting that in any way. It just, you know, the committee learned at every step of the way. Yeah. Um, you know, you're finding a school, uh, recognizing uh, that we need some 21st century improvements, uh, creating an end step. Yeah. Uh, what, what we learned about cost comparisons. Right, what we learned about the process with the state and the reimbursement thing and the waivers and how. Right, in, in almost ineffective that process is. On the site selection, um, you know, I mean, every step we can criticize, we can critique, 
and I don't know that that needs to be in the body of the report from the committee. Other, uh, so your point is by July 1st, people are going to email yes. you what? By July 1st, people are going to email me with what they think should be in the final report. It does not have to be and probably should not be a final draft of a paragraph. Why go through that much work when we're going to chew it all up through the committee anyway? But if you have an outline or a framework, or if you have five topics that want you want in there, or if there's a particular point that you feel is very important for the future for people to see in the report, get it to me by July 1st. And I'll, I'll put that into a snapshot when I email out the report. Yeah. So please include Phil on that email, just be, so he can collect things as he and I go back and forth uh, with various work hours and, and who can be at a computer on which day. Um, once you've gathered everyone's points, Mike, is the intent to create some kind of draft report or? Well, I think it would happen in some stages. I think the first stage would be essentially take what everyone sent in and on or around the sixth, send it back out and say, this is, this is cobbled together the bits and pieces that people have brought up. So that's the first framework right there. And that will spur more thought in people. Oh, I like this. I don't like that. Or we should add this comment or that. It would be the basis of an outline. For it, would, it would just, yes, it would be just as if you are trying to write a report from all the steps where you do sort of the spitballing and then you frame it and then you start filling it in. Sure. Sorry. Except we're, so we're going to ask nine people to do that. <laughs> I just had to make you the host because my computer just said it was going to shut down. So okay. sorry. <laughs> all right. Okay, any more thoughts on that topic? Are we, are we generally in consensus about that? Um, and I'll put out a cancellation, uh, Phil or I will put out a cancellation notice for the fifth, right? Yeah. I don't think we even need to vote on that as long as there's consensus. I think I see a nod from Brianna. Jim, are you not? Yeah, I see a thumbs up. Okay, so um, do we have any more discussion on the guidance from the board that? Seeing none, let's move on to present to speak. We'll start in the room. All right, let's go online. Anybody online who would like to speak and present to speak, you can unmute and call out your name, please. Okay, Three, seven, we're five. moving on. I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. That's what I move. Can I get a second? I was going to ask one last question, Mike, but. <laughs> well, I'm following the agenda. I know, I know you're moving too fast for me, but that's okay. All right. Um, nothing, all those, nothing should change. <laughs> all those in favor of adjournment, say aye, wave goodbye. Thank you all. The meeting is adjourned at 6.58 p.m. Quickest ever. Record time. That's just bizarre.